Yo, what's up guys and welcome to day 9 of the Road to Glory. So, in today's episode, we have got ourselves a 1 million coin investment. We've got loads of um, chemistry self sniping. And to go and end it off, there has been a leaked SBC, which we have gone and made the most of. But what I'm going to start doing and start making a habit of these videos is demonstrating the trading methods I'm going to be doing throughout the video at the beginning. Now, I'm going to be doing each one on an alt account, so it doesn't give away or ruin how many coins we've ended the episode on, because I'll kind of do this at the end. Well, I guess I'll record this at the before the whole video is done, so then I know what trading method to show you. So what I'm going to be showing you is going to be the chemistry style trading method. Now, what you need for this is probably about 20, 30k. It's very, very easy. And what this is, this is sniping players with Shadow and Hunter. Now, the reason this works very well is because Shadow and Hunter at the moment are quite expensive. I'll go and show you right now, chemistry styles. Scooby Dooby Doo, head over with Shadow, and I, is it extinct still? No, but uh, I can show you right now that Shadow is probably at least 4.7k or something like that, 4.6, there you go. Shadow is 4.8k, and I'm sure Hunt will follow suit. And as a result, it means that rather than going and buying players and applying these chem styles, people are just buying these players with these chem styles straight on. So what you want to do is you now want to go and get these players with these chem styles, but not much more than what the normal gold sells for. So example, we'll go with the likes of, who's good? Vazquez, okay. So Vazquez's gold card is, no, it's Vazquez, sorry, Asensio. Asensio's uh, gold card is going for, how much are you going for, buddy? He is going for 3.6k. Now, adding a hunter onto this would mean, because a hunter's about 5k, it would be 8.6k. But what you can go and do is you can go and sell a Asensio with a hunter on for, 5.2k, but I know comfortably I can sell it for 6k. So this means that anything between his buy now of 3.6 and 5.2, whatever you buy it for is profit. So basically what you want to be doing is you want to, and this is what I do, is I write down a list of players who cost between 2 to 5k, and then I look for them with a shadow of paying no more than um, paying no more than 2k more than what the gold card sells for. So I'm going to go and use this filter right now, which is going to be left wing hunter. And again, I'm looking for players worth between 2 to 5k, but I'm not looking to pay any more. Now, what you're always going to do is you're always going to scroll to the 59th minute. Why you're always going to scroll to the 59th minute is because these are cards that have just been listed. More likely than not, if a card's been in the market for half an hour, it's probably not going to be an amazing deal. But if a card's just been listed, there is a decent chance that it's going to be a good deal. So we are going to get to the 59th minute right now. It's probably going to take about 10, 15 pages. And I'm going to start looking for players. So we've got Asensio right there for 5-2. Again, I know I can sell him for 6k. Uh, we've got a Trossard. I know I can sell for 6k. Again, the more you do this method, the... Um, the more familiar go prices. No deals there, so I'm going to go switch it to right wing. And again, you want to do this with, I find left backs and right backs are really good. And again, you'll see loads and loads and loads of, I'd argue that I probably make about 200k-ish today with chemistry style sniping on the, or on the video today. So uh, yeah, we're going to scroll all the way to the end and see if there's anything good. So with the forwards ones or with the hunter, I wouldn't look for players who are strikers because there aren't many ex expensive strikers in this game. It's normally your left mid, your right mid, your left wings, your right wings, your left forwards, your right forwards. So as a result, when you're doing this filter, you're looking through left wing, right wing, left forward, right forward, you know, left mid and right mid. And again, I'm looking for guys who are defaultly costing between 5 to 7k, so I'm going to leave an Awobi. Now, the reason you don't do players like Awobi is because if they're not at least 2k, that probably means there isn't much demand. So not only are you going to struggle selling them, but um, they're also, they also end up being normally a little bit more flooded. Now, Richardson, I think 5-5 five five actually isn't too bad of a deal. Um, I would be tempted to buy, but I think I'm going to leave him right there because I do see that he's flooded for 6 and left mids. And again, you can do this with a 5k buy now if you want to trade with cheaper players. I'll be honest, I've been doing this filter a lot more with a 5k buy now and only in the last few days started doing it with a 7k. So, let's see if we can get any deals. Also, uh, play players on a PlayStation, sorry, players on Xbox and PC, you have to be a little bit more um, patient with deals because of course all that stuff is going to be listed. But then again, you have less competition on buying cards because obviously there's about five times the players over on PlayStation. So we are going to be looking in right mid, see if we can actually snap up a deal. i say it's fairly normal for you to not get a deal in a cycle of these. There we go. We're going to get ourselves a SAR right there. And I'll go and show you what SAR. So the reason I've gone and bought a SAR is because he's 4.4k. Now if I head over to the likes of Footbin, if I can load a Footbin up right now. Again, this comes from pre-knowledge, I guess, on the player. So SAR is going to be going for, and again, you could do a little search of this before, he's going for 2.7k. Therefore, I'm getting him with a Hunter, which is worth 4.8k for only an additional 1.7k. So I'm paying 1.7k for a chem style that normally costs 5k. Not bad. So SAR right there, we got for 4.4k. Let's go see what SAR with a Hunter is going to sell for. Let's say this is just an example of one of the players. So S-A-R-R. As I say, what I've done is I've written down a list. 
If you're interested in getting the list, uh, it is part of my sub perk on Twitch where you get daily trading guides. Or nonetheless, it is very, very easy to uh, write a list up yourself. So 6.2k, uh, I know I've sold them so many times for about 6.5k. So 6.2k, which would be the minimum I'd be getting, which is as a result, 1.8k more. Easy money. As I say, you do this over and over again, you do it. My cycle is going through left backs, right backs, then defenders from the Liga and defenders from the Counter, defenders from the Bundesliga, defenders from the La Liga. Then left wing hunter, right wing hunter, left forward hunter, right forward hunter, left mid hunter, right mid hunter. And then do that over and over and over again and get loads of good deals. So that's been the, um, I guess, the tutorial. Hopefully it's helped you guys. Do enjoy the uh, enjoy the video with loads of deals. So to start today's episode, we've got a massive, massive investment I've made between this one and the last one. So sold on a few of the Ingers, uh, and you can see I had about a million coins uh, last uh, episode. All that million coins is now on Sarah Beers, which I decided to go and buy, well, basically bid on last night. Now, the reason I throw them on my chance list is because I'll be holding on to these for about two, three days. As a result, I don't want them getting in the way of my chance list. I don't want them getting into my undersigned, so I've decided to go and bid on them so they can all just sit here. Now, I've picked up, I think it's 37 Sarah Beers, all for 27k. I think there's one for 27,250, but uh, don't shoot me. But uh, yeah, why have I gone and picked Sarah Beer up? Because a very, very popular and a very, very uh, successful trade method last year was. If someone is likely to get a team of the week, where someone has a really good performance and they're very likely to get a team of the week, you buy them after the game when all the hype stopped. He peaked, I think, yesterday about 33, 35k. You buy them in the evening, and then as soon as everyone starts making team of the week predictions, they go up. Now, let me go and show you right now. This is a uh, thing on Footbin where you can see the team of the week contenders. And this is, these are players likely to get team of the week. Arguably, Sarah Beer is probably the, has the highest chance out of everyone, of course, we still got Sunday's games, to, um, to get a team of the week. So as a result, he's going to be so hyped because he's making into so many predictions. On top of that, Sarabia played as a right wing, which makes his cam card even more desirable because, you know, obviously a cam Sarabia would be way more demanded than a right wing Sarabia. So we're going to see lots of team week predictions roll out in the next few days. And as a result, it's going to hype his price up now. Between last night and this morning, I can show you that he is already up, which is why I would have predicted that because, as I say, this morning, I guess people are now maybe starting to buy after the hype of yesterday, but... Yes, these are a lot of fun. So we got us all for 27k. He's now going for maybe 29k. So he's already up 2k. And again, probably easily up to like 35, I think, uh, for prior predictions. So as we're going to have a lot of them sitting around. So as a result, I don't really have enough coins to do icon trading for the uh, for the next, at least today. Maybe we have a good SBC at 6, which gives me coins. So we're going to be doing a lot of chem style trading. So I guess first off, we show you what's sold on. What's sold on here? That is a El Mori. Lovely. Uh... We got for what 3.2, I think. 5k, five things bought already this morning. I'll show you what we got. Uh, we got Sao Paulista, very, very consistently sent for 7.5. Bought for just under five. Nice little deal there. Danny Rose bought for four, four. We sent for six. Now, because we are actually at the end of Weekend League, we are having a lot of Weekend League sell off, which is going to make players a little bit harder to sell. But um, nonetheless, on top of it, well, I guess with it making players harder to sell, it's also meaning more players are getting listed up. So we are, yeah, get Danny Leo there for 3.5. And I think this is the first ever Tari one with a shadow. So. Well, let's, let's go and uh, let's go and just show you guys what he's worth. So Tar, we have a shadow seven point nine. I think that's an overbuy because I think I wrote down that he's. I think it was uh, no, he bought for six nine. Sorry, uh, I think he only sells for about eight. So let's have a little look. I do think that is an overbuy. Um, let's have a little look. Uh, I mean, yeah, we had selling pretty easily for eight. But yeah, that is the uh, first uh, tar I've ever bought. So just learning uh, his prices. Did go and add a bunch more um, players to the uh, chemsol trading guide. Uh, just so now I have a, I guess, a vaster array of uh, players I can trade with, but not bad. I'll take that, and we're going to keep on doing campsite trading probably for the, uh, yeah, the vast majority of the day. So we've gone and got ourselves a bunch of deals, and uh, yeah, let's go and show you them right here. Then so twelve deals. Uh, got a tar target sold up for eight. So uh, yeah, nothing too mad on him. Got Digny. Uh, believe Digny gets listed for nine. Just check my price sheet right now. Digny, we list for... Yeah, Digny gets listed for 9k. Not bad, 2.6 on that. Asensio, Asensios always get listed for 6. Loads of Asensios for, uh, today for some reason. But I'm very confident I'll be able to consistently sell them for 6. So, 3 right there. Uh, I believe I make like 1.5k on each one, part of that one. Uh, we get Delafeu. Delafeu is a 6, so that's 2.3k right there. Trossard, Trossard's a 6, so that's two sorry 1.6k right there. Atal, Atal is 7.5k, so that is 2k. Got, how many Klostermans we get? We get one Klosterman here for four, we list him for six. Very consistent. I think the other one's only bought for five, isn't it? Yeah. Very, but then he's discussing leaks, uh, consistent with how fast he sells on. Bernat got for four, eight. Bernat, we can sell for, if I can find him, 6.5k. 
So yeah, Bernard's kind of dropped off a little bit recently. And then uh, last we've got Bernard, and Bernard goes for Scooby Doo Doo 6.5k. Not bad, so 3.5k right there. I say I'm not like Hunters are still coming up better than uh, Shadows, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Just gonna keep on doing chemstyle trading until you, well, we'll show you what we buy and what we sell on. So we've had a absolute madness on players selling on. We've had the Essentios you saw me buy for like four and five. They sold on. Uh, Munier, I don't know if I've got a deal on him. Florenzi. 8k, you know, nothing too mad. Uh, so I started listening to players for a little bit cheaper, but uh, Van Dan uh, sorry, Daniel got for 3 5, I think it was. Uh, Sinclair's would have think I would think I would have gone for like 1k each and New Wells. As I say, I'm listening up to Silvers cheaper because I think the score is going to flood Silvers, and uh, I've got kind of some new prices for the uh, Shadows and Hunters, especially as uh, I say, we're going to see a little bit of weakening set off. So if I actually want to have uh, a roll in, in coins, I'm going to have to start listening a little bit cheaper. Also, got some new deals, got our Dozer for 6 uh, 9 6. If I'm not wrong, yeah, he's still a 9k sell, which is uh, really good. And then on top of that, we got a Klosterman for 4.8. eight. I say, Klosterman is uh, very, very uh, consistently selling for 6, so not bad. So, we'll uh, give you an update. Tar sold for 8. Again, both of these bought under 7. Ordoza bought for 5.5, five, five, sold for 9. Bernat bought for 5, sold for 6.5. Van Anhalt, no idea what I bought him for. Sky would have been bought under a K. Asensio bought for... I think we bought for... I oh, know we just bought one for 4.5. Got 11 new deals, so might as well show you these new deals then. So, Felipe bought for 5.5. Five. I'm going to sell him for 6.5 if I'm not wrong. Let me double check that just, uh, just in case. Uh, La Liga Defender. Scooby Dooby Doo. Felipe. Yep, 6.5k. Uh, next, we've got uh, so Thorm. Thorm's going to be 7k right here. Or Thorbin, sorry. Thorm just. Uh, we've got Barcher right here, 6.5k. I think we've got two Barchers, don't we? Yep, another Barcher, 6.5k. We've got an Asensio. This card, actually, by the way, was bought on two days. Like, literally, someone listed him up for three days. Uh, Munia is 6k, I think. Uh, Rose is 6k, that was a nice little deal. We got ourselves a Angeleo, who's 6k. As I said, the, uh, the deal is we're just picking up cards even if we can only make a k on them. Uh, I mean, after tax, it's only 700, co only 700 coins, but it's not bad. Uh, Yedlin's nice, you can sell Yedlin for max. And uh, Theo Hernandez is 8. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. A few deals on that. Fun stuff selling on. Happy days. We've actually had two more things sell on. That is, yeah, two goals. They just started flooding the uh, club with some of the golds in the club just to get some extra coins. So we've got a few more deals and a few things sold on, so give you an update. Uh, a few of these silvers selling on. I think we've gone for like two. Uh, game ball bees both for two. Ascentia would have got for a 5k and under. Or those, I think we've got for 6.5. Uh, and there we go. A few deals right there. And we've gone and bought a few more players. Basically got six cards to replace the six we just sold on. So, Bartra, another one of them for 3.7. That was decent. Seven for a... Uh, 6.5. Uh, got a lot of two Dabbits. Bought for 6. Let me sell both of them for 7.5. Done and done. Uh, you've just saw me sell an Ordoza for 9. This one we bought for 6. So it should be easy. What else do we have here then? Uh, Danny Rose bought for 5. Pretty easy 6k. And a career I haven't won for a while. So let's have a little look at what she's going for. A uh, career was won for 3.9k if I'm not wrong. So that should be a good little deal. Okay, we'll take out Ryman actually. Oh god, he's actually quite cheap, uh, to be honest. 7k. Uh, let's say that, but there's only two on the market. We should be at 7 for 7. Let's see what I've written down for him. Korea, the normal selling price on a Korea is Scooby Dooby Doo. 7k. Yeah, not bad then. I think we went for 3.4. Let's see. What are we getting for Korea? We got for 4.5. Okay, not bad. 1.5 on him. Uh, or 2.5 on him, actually. Not bad. Give you guys a little update how it's looking. Uh, nine things sold on. Korea bought for, I think, four, five, sold for seven. Bernat's all bought under five. Uh, Dozer, I think, was bought for six. Rose bought under five. Van Anna bought under five. Fernandez both bought under seven. I think probably bought for six even, and him selling on. And uh, deal wise, let's go and show you what we've got. I've got eight more deals. It's a lot, I'll be honest. We're getting as many deals as we're selling, which is decent because it makes a good um, cash flow. but. Got hold for five, gonna be selling for six. We'll get the uh, kind of boring ones out there first. Klosterman, got for five, selling for six, as always. Uh, there are a few interest ones, I actually don't know the prices of. Oh, uh, Munier, we're gonna sell for six. Got for five, this one got for four, six, gonna be selling for six. There's another Klosterman, there we go, selling for six. Now, these guys I know way less, because in fact, I haven't even picked up a Hakimi before. So uh, I'll go and find this guy's price, uh, not to bore you guys too much. So this guy got for 6.4k. I believe he should be good. Um, I think I just Merlion. and I think it was... I want to say it was almost like 11k or something mad like that. Don't quote me on that. So going for 6.4k, survey says... Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, survey says 
9.9k, I guess. I'll take that. There's like, what, 3.5k profit on that card. And again, we got a really good deal on Shakiri and uh, Lamar. Got Lamar for 4.5, and then they uh, Shakiri for 3.5. So, yeah, pretty, pretty good deals. Again, we're just doing chem trading all day, just because we're uh, obviously unassigned our Sarah Beers. So, give me a little update how Sarah Beers is looking. As uh, so if you guys don't know, got him, uh, well, you guys will know because it's a YouTube video, so you would have been told not too long ago. But Sarah Beer, we went and bought um, four. 27k, uh, 37 of them, and he's now up to, okay, now to just, it should be over 29k if I'm not wrong, uh, he's actually just under 29k, so what will be happening with this card actually, he'll be fluctuating all day, um, he'll be fluctuating all day because of just, you know, people packing him and buying and selling him, so I guess we're going to get a few on uh, buy nows, because obviously we've got a full trams list filled up, so uh, yeah, not bad, well, we might go and pick a few of these up, especially as we have some excess coins. So we've had a bunch of things sell on. We got the Lamar built for four five, so for seven. Five. Thorvin we got for four eight, so for seven. Bachi would have got under five. Um Shakiri got for three five. Rosie got for five. Hulk got for five. Banabi got for three point eight. Hakimi got for uh, six point six. And we got a bunch of stuff we bought uh, ages ago. All these golden rares, four hundred coins. Him for two hundred and him for two hundred. So not bad. Uh, got a bunch of stuff uh, bought as well, so I guess let's go through that. We've got ourselves Devridge for 5, going to sell for 6.5. Sensio for uh, 5, going to sell for 6 pretty easily. Another Asensio built for 4, 4, going to sell for 6. A Vela, I've never actually sold a Vela before, so that'd be an interesting one. Never really sell Girls Martinez. Got an Oradoza for 5, 5, going to sell for 9. Got a Benat for 3, 4, this is actually a really good deal. I think we sell for 6, 5 nowadays. Uh, anything interesting at the end? Klosterman again bought for 5, going to sell for 6. A few of them actually, it's taken a while for a few of them to sell on, so... Need to go and check these two players. Someone told me Gilson Martinez sells for 8, which should be interesting, but... Yeah, check these two under. Yeah, bunch more uh, chemstar trade. Okay, so, a bunch of things have sold on, and I've done a... Done a bit of a... Bit of a... a, a oof. So, first off, we'll show it sold, though. Um, the bridge bought for 5, sold for 6, 5. Thorvin bought under 5. Bought under 5. Bought for five, I'd say. Bought for 7.2, bought for five, and then blah, 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 blah. Bought for one. Now, first off, I want to show you a mistake I made. Uh, we were banging out a bit of chemstar trading, and, uh, well, basically, uh, I completely forgot to go for Hunter, and as a result, I was looking at loads of Shadow with Delaphase with Shadow and being like, oh, these are amazing deals. Why are these on the market for so long? And, uh, yeah, it's because I uh, failed to actually catch on. So I've actually gone and bought three Delaphase. Uh, before understanding that I'm buying the wrong, uh, I'm buying the wrong chem style on him. But it's not the end of the world, you know, they got Shadow, hopefully they'll sell them, they're in right forward as well, they've, you know, they're pretty well position changed. I sell them so I cover tax, um, happy days, but back in the way of actually interest in chem styles. This Delafo bought for 5, gonna sell for 6, happy days. This Ascenso bought for 5, 1, gonna sell for 6, happy days. Uh, Career, I'm not too sure, and Rose bought for 5, gonna sell for 6, lovely. Uh, Trossard bought for four eight, gonna sell for six. After the Trossard bought for uh, four point eight, gonna sell for six. Uh, so we've got Dalbert bought for four. I think we sent for seven point five. That's a decent little buy right there. Uh, and these two play. Oh no, Rose sorry bought for five, gonna sell for six. Uh, not quite sure on Korea, but there we go. Not bad. Yeah, made a bit of a mistake, but it's not the end of the world because again, they're not you know they're not that bad. What's sold on as well? One of the Delafos I bought, lovely. So we got ourselves, uh, well, quite an interesting deal. We just got ourselves a Quadrado. Uh, we got these two deals before we discard them. Uh, first of all, let's see up these. I think Richarlison is a 7k sell, so not bad for 5.5. Five. Bernat is a 6.5, bought for 4. But we got this pretty interesting deal. We got a Quadrado. We got a new increased filter. I used to do just 5k right mids, but now we started doing a 7k. So first time I've got a Quadrado, so I thought I might as well show you guys how much it's worth. So going for 7k. Okay, at least 1k. At least 2k. Okay, uh, we're either of them right mid, yeah, we got one right mid. So we got this up for 9.9k, 9.7 maybe if I'm under cut, but not bad. Uh, nice little player to add to the roster. Going to be a nice little like 2k profit after a tax on him. And uh, yeah, lovely. So we have got ourselves a few deals. Now we're not a lie, uh, we're looking a little bit low on the coins, but because we're on Sunday, I don't bother there being content at 6pm, so I don't think I have to worry. So it's how we got 5.5, five, can going to for 7.5 right there. Uh, so I got for 5.3, I think we can send for 7 if I'm not wrong. Uh, if not a 6-5. Ordoza, again 6-1, going to sell for 9. He's just a classic hub we always sell. Thorvin got for 3-6, going to sell for 7k, which is decent. And uh, last one right here, we got uh, Felipe for 5-4, uh, and we're going to sell for 6. Sorry, 5-4, going to sell for 6-5. So, another well, big old update. 
Uh, Gilson Martinez bought for, what did he get for in the end? 3 4, sold for 6 9, which is good. Korea bought for 5 5, bought for, sold for 7 2. Ordoza bought for 6 1, sold for 9. Rose bought for 5, sold for 6. Uh, Trossard bought for 4 8, sold for 6. Saar bought for 5 3, sold for 7. Both these uh, bakers sold for, bought for 1k, sold for uh, 2k, whatever. Bang with that on the relist. Uh, then we got ourselves 9 more deals, so let's go and show you these. Uh, Lamar bought for 5 9, gonna be 7 for uh, 7 5. That's good because we've got two of him. Got another Lamar here for 6, gonna be 7 for 7 5. Easy coins. Uh, we then have Shaw bought for 6 9. I don't think he actually sells for too much. I'm gonna sell for 7 2 because I actually don't think it's a good deal. Frenzy bought for um, 6.4, gonna be sell for 8k. Burnout bought for 5 5, gonna sell for 6 5. That actually isn't a good deal really whatsoever. Angeleo bought for 4 9, gonna be selling for 6k. Uh, Aguilera got for 6. This is a good one. Bought for 3, got selling for 6. A town bought for four. Gonna be start for seven because uh, I think I've listed a few for seven five and they're not too good. And more we bought for uh, three. Now gonna be sell for five five. But yeah, some good uh, good little deals right there. Okay, we're still only sitting on thirty three k with uh, with about an hour left till uh, six pm. But I, again, I don't think we're gonna drop promo, so I don't mind not being uh, you know in the pocket with too much money. So we got ourselves a bunch more deals. We'll show you what sold on. Uh, Edwards, who we got for nine hundred. Actually, no, Edwards got for like one k, so for two k. Since we got under 5, so for 6, and Rose got for, I think, 5 1. So let's go for, talk through the 12 deals we got. Got a few silver deals, because I was just literally demonstrating the silver method on stream, and uh, we well, got a few good deals. So Felipe, uh, 5 5, so for 6 5. Felipe, 5 6, so for 6 5. Danny Rose, 4 9, so for 6. Classic. Uh, Aguilera got for 4, gonna sell for 6. Uh, Vincent Jr., I actually don't know. I haven't bought him for a while. Uh, this guy, I think we can sell for. I think he's 6'5, um, not bad. Uh, Malco can sell for 7, it's not bad, bought for 4'8. Uh, Dalbert bought for 5'8, sell for 7. Uh, again, not quite sure on Vincent Jr., I'll go and check him out right now. He's a new player ball, because again, I'm trading with more expensive wingers now. Got a few silvers as well, uh, got Wright for 700. Uh, got Haley for 1k, I can sell for 2'5 pretty comfortably. Uh, another Edwards bought for 900, sell him for that. And Vincent Jr., I don't know his price yet, so we can't go and list him. And some of this has already sold on. And Malco for 6 gets 7k. Obviously, I underlisted, so might have to start selling for 7.5. But yeah, not bad. Obviously, loads and loads more deals. So, I've gone and loaded my game up in uh, Norwegian, because uh, if you load the game up in English, nothing interesting happens. But, if you load the game up in Norwegian, it's in Norwegian. But, more importantly, if you scroll over here, um, not that one. If you scroll over here, it has got a far... I'm not going to try and pronounce that, but basically, that says there's going to be a Nigolian SBC. This one says there's going to be a Sanchez and Mkhitaryan one. This says there's going to be a Nigolian SBC. It doesn't say it's in English. literally only says this if you load the game up in Norwegian. So what I've gone and done is I've gone and bought a, a few... Actually, no, wait. Let me go and do this. So what I've gone and done is I've gone and bought a, uh, a bunch of this guy, because arguably he is the only, um, only I guess... High rated guy, then nine goal for the team. When I bought 41 of him up for 850 coins a piece. Hopefully, they're going to sell on pre hype or uh, or whatever. But yeah, not a uh, not too bad. A really, really weird little uh, weird thing EA's gone and done. But we'll, we'll keep you up. So, we are going to be ending off day nine, if I'm not wrong, of the Road to Glory. And it's looking pretty goddamn good. Of course, we've got our 37 Sarah Beers who right now are selling for, I think they're selling for 29k a piece. So, uh, that's not too bad. Uh, got a bunch of stuff sold on, so we got a uh, Felipe bought for 5-5, five, five. Uh, Asensio bought under 5, this guy been bought under 5, this guy bought for 6-5, this guy bought for under 5, this guy bought for 5, this guy bought for 5-5, five, five. I think this guy bought for 5, this guy bought for 6, this guy bought for 5, uh, him bought for 1, 700 coins, uh, 1k, and then both of them would have been bought for 1k and under. So not looking too bad, we've got 50 coins, we've also got a game in... Um, in Norwegian and such, but yeah, that's how we're going to be ending up today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy it. We did make some uh, some very, very nice money off the uh, back of the uh, chem sniping method. So again, hopefully I gave you plenty and plenty of examples to help you guys, uh, you know, learn how to trade with them. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new video.